Older viewers will recognise the logo behind me as that of British Rail. British Rail ceased existing in 1997. However, according to Mr. Webb, it appears to still be in existence. Witness his comment from a video about um, passages from Muslim scriptures uh, and, and the Hadiths and so on being popped up at King's Cross the other day. I do not expect the institutions of this country, such as the BBC or British Rail, to start quoting any kind of scripture to me. It's not really their job. And I'd actually agree with him to a large extent there. Um, outside of something like songs of praise or whatever on the BBC, which pays a certain amount of lip service to the fact that it's nominally a, a Christian country, and I believe that programme has been cancelled anyway recently, I don't really expect this, and I don't want to see it at a train station. But Simon, you class yourself as a historian, but you can't put in the basic research to you note that British Rail hasn't existed for getting on 27 years we then find the classic uh, another classic in a video about suffragettes 40 percent of men in britain that's almost half um no simon uh, someone gets uh, someone with more patience than me to explain to simon the rule about rounding up and down in maths i haven't got the patience for that it would hurt my brain to do it However, the classic was Simon's a bit with Leo Veredka. Simon seems to have a particular thing about Leo. Now, I am no great fan of Leo. I think he's a, a wonderfully weak leader, and I'm not particularly saddened to see him go from go as a T-shirt. But Simon, on his return on Monday, informed us that in his speech in Boston to a large amount of Irish Americans who are part of the Irish diaspora, that Leo came out with the following. He claimed that St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, was a migrant who arrived in Ireland after leaving Britain of his own free will. This is completely false. As according to Patrick's own account, he was living in Britain at the age of 16 when he was seized by slave traders. True, to an extent, but we'll go on from there. This is an example of what Terry Pratchett called given value of truth. Simon then ended that presentation by going, as I say, the Prime Minister, well, the ex-Prime Minister now, Ireland is either an ignorant fool who knows nothing of his country's history or he does know and is lying on purpose. Let's have a look at what St. Patrick says elsewhere, shall we? We can always do a bit of look up. Here's St. Patrick's Confessions. A confessio, if you wish to call it that, and be use the Latin. A few years later, I was again with my parents in Britain. They were with me as a son, and they pleaded with me that after all the many tribulations I had undergone, I should never leave them again. It was while I was there that I saw in a vision in the night a man, whose name was Victoricus, coming, as it were, from Ireland, with so many letters they could not be counted. Post service must have been a lot better back then. Then he gave me one of these, and I read the beginning of the letter, the voice of the Irish people. While I was reading out the beginning of the letter, I thought I heard at that moment the voice of those who are beside the wood of a club near the Western Sea. They called out, as it were, with one voice, We beg you, ho holy boy, to come and walk again among us. This touched my heart deeply, and I could not read any further. I woke up then. Thanks be to God. After many years, the Lord granted what they were calling for. Leo was speaking, as you could imagine, to quite a lot of people who are of Irish descent when he was speaking in Boston. We, they will mostly have been aware that St. Patrick went to Ireland originally as a captive and then went back of his own free will as a missionary, a point Simon has admitted. Most people listening to Simon who are not Irish, unless they have an interest in theology or are reasonably well versed in the history of Ireland or the history of Christianity will not be aware of that. And Simon has therefore, as usual, created his own little lovely narrative and a false dilemma. But then that's a game he likes to play it.